Shopify Navigation Tutorial 2023, how to set up the Shopify Navigation menu for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another Shopify tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be discussing about Shopify and we're gonna be discussing how you can work with the navigation menu, set it up and accordingly do like all types of, you know, settings and stuff with it. So it's going to be a very informational tutorial. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end to gain all the knowledge you can about the navigation menu and Shopify. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to write Shopify. Okay. And once you're over here and you go to Shopify, basically what's going to happen is they're going to ask you to, you know, create a store and everything. So, Basically, what you're going to do is um, you're going to create a store for yourself. And once you're creating a store, basically, it's going to ask you all these things. Like, let's say I'm going to I'm going to go and switch account and uh, like uh, they ask you things. OK, like uh, some setting about your store. So first of all, they're going to ask your name. Just enter any random name for now. You can change it later. OK, it does not matter. Then once it does that, it obviously starts creating our store. It says success. Your store is ready to go. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask us a few optimization questions. OK, so we're just going to ask those uh, answer those questions. It's basically an account setup that says, tell us a little about yourself. We'll help you get started based on your responses. So are you already selling? OK, you can choose whatever you want. I'm, I'm going to go with I'm just playing around. What is your current revenue? I'm going to go with like the most minimum. And here it says, which industry will you be operating in? So choose whichever industry you're going to be in. I'm going to go with electronics and I'm going to go with next. Now it says add your address. I'm going to do that. Now this is necessary because this will be used as your default business address. So basically, let's say if you will have any payments pending or something like that, then you will be billed at this place. Or let's say if you have, you know, any uh, invoice, a check coming towards you, some money, some salary, then you can also add this address for that benefit. So you can just get money at different places. So yeah, now we're going to click on enter my store. Okay. And once you click on enter my store, you're going to be redirected to your main store. So let's wait for that to load up. Okay. And here we are, we have been successfully loaded up into our store. And here we can see this is a basic uh, your basic interface. OK, here's your dashboard with all the settings and stuff. And the left hand side, you have home orders, products, customers, content uh, analytics, marketing, discounts, online store, point of sale, you know, all that stuff. And uh, basically, that's what we're going to be messing around with. That's what we're going to be working around with. Now, for your navigation menu, first of all, you're going to make sure that you have a proper online store. Now to check if you have a proper online store, just click on online store and here you're going to be now, basically in your online store, they're going to give you a default theme, which is going to be Dawn. Okay. Now in the Dawn theme, you're going to basically go and check all the navigations. Now, if you don't, if you're like still confused about what navigations are, let me show you. So basically, you know, all these things you see this, 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 you know, all these things, these are basically your navigations. So this, this, this is all navigations. This is navigations. Navigations is basically, uh, you know, a link, a hyperlink that if you click, you're going to be navigated to another menu. So if I click on this, look at this, it's going to have, it's going to navigate me to the Nike kids section, the Nike men's section, the Nike women's section, you, you get the point. So these are navigations and this is what we're going to be basically adding into our store. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So once we're here, we're going to go. Uh, as we can see, it has added our theme. If you go like uh, view our online store right now, let's see its position currently. Now we can see that uh, it's like any other blueprint of a store. Now here, as you can see, we have already been given our navigations. So how do you optimize this? Basically, you're going to come here to navigation under the online store section. Now, once you're in the navigation section, here are your navigation menus. So we can see that it first says footer. So let me show you what a footer is. Let me go to the so this is your footer. And in the footer, as you can see, this is your navigation that navigates you to your main page or powered by Shopify. Look at this, it's going to take you to Shopify. So this is the footer navigation. And in the main menu navigation, you can see home catalog contact. So here you can see home catalog contact. So as you can see, that is what this basically means. Now to add yourself something in this, we're just going to go on the main menu. Let's say you want to go here now to add a menu in this let's just add some random menu so add let's add product let's add a product page 
okay? And here's the product page. And once you add that, you're gonna click on add, okay? And you're gonna click on save menu. Now, once you click on that and reload this page, it's gonna take like, you know, a few seconds, like five to 10 minutes, not, not five to 10 minutes, but like a minute. It's gonna take a minute and once it does, you know, processing everything, what's gonna happen is this product menu is gonna show up into your navigation bar, as you can see right here. So just keep on checking like every 30 to 40 seconds and there you go, your product menu is right there and it takes you to all your products page. So basically, this is how you're gonna mess around with your navigation menu. Now you can also add more things, like let's say you wanna add it to your footer menu, so you're gonna go on your footer, okay? And you're gonna add a menu item uh, again. So let's add something fun. Let's add in the footer menu, socials, okay? Let's add our socials and go over here. And in your socials, you know, it could be your policies and stuff like that. So once you do that, again, just add any page, okay? You can go even go on collection, do that. Click on add page, and once you do that, just click on save menu. And there you go. That is how you're gonna add your socials. See, pretty easy, pretty basic stuff. Now, you can also do a few more things, okay? Now, what do I mean by a few more things is, like, let's go back, okay? And once we're back over here, you can also like add collections and search filters into your navigation if you want to. You can also like add view uh, your URL directs. And you can also go into the settings bar and here you can also like mess around with the different navigation menus if you have any. So that is basically how you're gonna work around with like the whole navigation system, how you're gonna set it up and how you're gonna set different menus for your Shopify navigation system. So yeah, that is basically how you're gonna work around with Shopify's very own navigation system. And uh, yeah, so very simple steps. Go into the Shopify page, create an account for yourself, go into the settings, optimize the settings if you want to, then create a page for yourself, get a good theme. And then finally, then, you're gonna go ahead and create your navigation dropdowns. And once you create your navigation dropdowns, just go into the navigation bar, create different blocks, create different sections of the navigation, and from there on out, implement it into your page, create different links, create hyperlinks, so you can navigate yourself easily. So, uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. Now, if you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful and informational to you, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please let me know that as well. And I'll make more videos for you as soon as I can. And if I like left anything out or made a mistake and you have a query, then please let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you straight away. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great and incredible day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.